I recently became a dad, which is why I probably look a little more sleep deprived than I used to, but it's also already been one of the greatest adventures of my life and a great opportunity to justify my 3D printers. If you're watching this channel, chances are you try to spend a lot of your time optimizing things in your life, whether that be through home automation, 3D printing, or making things to solve problems for yourself or your family. The arrival of our little bundle of joy has led me to finding all kinds of things to try and optimize about our new life. Some of my optimizations are helpful. I'm told that some are not. For example, all nappy changes, that's what we call diapers here in Australia, nappies, are tracked via Home Assistant and Baby Buddy. We have a nap mode for our smart home that helps keep the lights low while we're trying to settle the little one. And I've made a handful of 3D printed bits and pieces to help keep things like bottles organized. One thing that's not very efficient though is the nappy bag situation. We opted to use this old camera bag as our nappy bag, especially once we saw how much a proper bag can cost. It's fantastic, it has plenty of space, but it is really big. Perfect for like big days out or trips, but not so great when we wanna go for a quick visit or drop into a cafe. I pretty quickly realized that we needed a smaller, simpler option for nappy changes that's quick to access, compact and minimal. Something we could throw in the pram or the back of the car when we're in a hurry and know that we had the essentials. A tactical option, if you will and I wanted to 3D print it, mainly because I can't sew, but also because I'd like to make a few of these to give out as gifts this Christmas. And while we're on the subject of gifts, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, Novium. Now, I'll be honest, when they first reached out, I wasn't totally convinced. I mean, how impressive can a pen really be? So before I agreed to them coming on as a sponsor, I asked them to send one over just so I could actually try it first. And I was pleasantly surprised. If you've watched my videos for a while, you've probably noticed my notebook is always close by. I write a lot of little notes when working on my projects in these videos, and I very quickly found myself reaching for the hover pen Interstellar whenever I needed a writing tool. This is the Interstellar, Novium's signature hover pen, and check this out. It floats in place using a precisely engineered magnetic field. There's no batteries, no motors, just really nicely machined aluminium floating in thin air. It arrives in a fantastic presentation box that feels really gift worthy, which makes sense. More than half of their customers buy these as gifts for family, colleagues, friends, graduates, pretty much anyone who appreciates something well designed. The Interstellar comes in four colors. You can even get a version with an authentic meteorite shard embedded in the tip. Novium also makes the Hover Pen Future, a fountain rollerball pen that has interchangeable tips and a more futuristic look. But the Interstellar is the one I kept reaching for. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for yourself or someone else, this is a brilliant option. And for the next 48 hours, use the code THESTOCKPOT to get 15% off a hover pen with free worldwide shipping. So get your order in soon to make sure you get the best deal. Step one was to determine what was essential to include in such a kit. Obviously, we need some nappies. I think three is a good amount for a short outing. We'd need some baby wipes or wet wipes. These small travel packs have plenty for heaps of changes. Some hand sanitizer is a must in case we're somewhere without access to hand washing facilities. Some nappy bags. We use doggy bags because I don't understand how the human version of the same product costs six times more. Yes, we get some weird looks. I don't care. An odor blocking nasal cavity protection implement and a little treat to trick myself into forgetting about what I just witnessed. That should be enough for a little kit. I played around with the arrangement of all these items on the bench, then grabbed my calipers and got measuring. I'm gonna use this fantastic model from Witty on printables as the basis for this design. I've used this model for all kinds of things over the years and I absolutely love it. And it's parametric, so you can mess with the dimensions as much as you'd like. I sized the box to fit the nappies in the lid and everything else in the base. 
That way you can open the whole thing like a book and place it down somewhere without it tipping over and have everything accessible with just one hand. Parents will get just how critical that is. Something I've learned from my years as a videographer is that when everything has a specific home, you're much less likely to forget something or forget to restock something that might be consumable. With that in mind, each individual component of what I'm referring to as the tactical nappy kit or tank has its own home. I use my calipers to measure up individual items and design little pockets to hold them all. The Dettol sanitizer bottle is a complex shape, so it took a couple of tries to get it right, but that's the beauty of 3D printing. The lid has these little fingers to hold the nappies compressed in place, while also ensuring they're easy to grab, and the pocket for the wipes has something similar. Obviously, we need some way to quickly identify the tank, so I threw together a quick design for the top of the box and added some elements that would make it hard to miss. With my design done, I sent it over to the X1Zs to print so I could use the multi-material for the lid. I stocked the tank up and we put it to use almost immediately. All the individual components fit into their spots nice and neatly and are super easy to get out with just one hand. The nappies fit neatly into the lid. The wet wipes squeeze into their spot nicely so they don't come out when you try and pull out a wipe. The peg fits underneath the sanitizer really neatly. The sanitizer drops into its spot really easily and can be removed with one hand by just pushing on one side of it. And of course a spot for your nappy bags. The nappy bags even have a little axle insert so they can rotate and make it nice and easy to pull one off. I think this is a great solution for a compact way to be prepared for a nappy change anywhere. You can throw one in the car, one in the pram, one in the toolbox, anywhere you might need to quickly handle a, a situation. And they'd make a fantastic Christmas gift for a new or soon to be parent. You can print one in just a few hours and save them from being caught short of absorbent infant underwear while they're out and about. Even my wife likes this project. And if you don't want people mistaking your tank for an actual first aid kit, you can print it in whatever color you'd like. There is of course one fault with this idea. The tank really only has the minimum amount of bits for a day out. If you forget to restock your tank or you're caught short, you put yourself in a spot of bother, which is why I also made the emergency nappy change kit. Throw a couple of these in your glove box, back seat, backpack, bookshelf, pantry, or junk drawer, and know that you have another option if the proverbial hits the fan. Just take your emergency nappy change kit, snap it in two, and have a clean nappy, individually wrapped wet wipes, a nappy bag, and a tasty treat ready to go. I made these by inserting a nappy, wet wipes, a nappy bag, and a mint into a nearly finished print, and then letting the printer seal everything in. There's a weak point designed into the print so you can snap it in two easily with your hands. This let me keep the whole thing as compact as possible and also makes you feel really cool when it's time to use one. <laughs> These are even simpler than the tactical kit so you can have a bunch around the house or give them out to your parents group or something as a gift. All the files are on printables if you'd like to print your own tank or emergency nappy kit. It fits newborn nappies just fine for now but I anticipate having to make a slightly larger version pretty soon. They grow really quick. I'll put that on printables too when I need to make that. If you like this video, leave it a like. If not, let me know why in the comments. Thanks a bunch for watching. I'll catch you next time.